How did that feel bringing that kingfish in? Crazy, but was very king. About two minutes to bring that in. Well, it's so exciting. I've never experienced that kind of thing. There also, you go. the mighty motu. Mark is gonna eat fish eyes. <laughs> fish <laughs> eyes. You yeah, too. Guys, you won't believe what just happened. Haitian, with her mad skills, caught a huge kingfish, a 20 kg kingfish on a hand line. Once again, we team up with our buddies Michael and Robber from Weka Digital Media. I'm ready. Why does it always have to be so early? Huh? Well, <laughs> early bird catches the worm. The fish don't come when you're, when you're ready. <laughs> really, Mark? That's so true, guys. The big fish always comes when you are not ready. Mike had this crazy idea to hit up the mysterious Motu river mouth at sunrise for some life baiting for kingfish. Now guys, if you haven't seen Michael's channel, you gotta check it out. He's got some awesome real Kiwi outdoor content and fishing content on his channel. So make sure after this video you check out and subscribe to his channel. We met up with Michael the evening before, decided to do a bit of drone fishing at the Hawaii beach, bought some dinner along and had a bit of a chat and a plan for the next day while we were flying out some baits with our drone there. Michael bought some homemade traditional Kiwi pie and it was delicious. A real Kiwi food. Kiwi, a real kiwi treat. Just fry up the bacon, onions, fry it up first, get rid of all the fat, mm -hmm. drain the fat out. About 20 eggs in there. <laughs> don't, don't tell me it came off again. Don't tell me. Not huge, huge. Similar like the one we had earlier. The next morning we decided to get up early sunrise. Uh, we wanted to meet up at the Motu at 6.30. The scenery was spectacular there, uh, even though it wasn't like super sunny on that day. Uh, it was a bit grey, but that's usually good for fishing. There was an outgoing tide during this time. So the mouse are right here. We saw the boys down there catch a fish. And we're just over here. So I'm going to have a cast out here, and I reckon there's kahawai right there. So. First cast. First fish of the day. Yeah, first first cast. Been in the water about two minutes. Was well, really thick. Pepper. Really? Pepper, look. Wow, bright size, eh? Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Yay. A nice snapper. Look at that. Well done. Well done. Wow. Check that out. Nice snapper here. First cast being in the water two minutes. All right. Change bait. Yeah. So hand line. It's a bit tangled up. When did you use it last time? Uh, I used it at Hawaii a month or so ago, but we got no the fish. No kingfish now, so. We brought our Korean coffee. Hey, Asian. Yep. Brought a coffee. Brought a coffee. This coffee is called Maxim. Maxim. What's it called? Maxim Mike or Asian? What do you call this in, uh, in Korea? Just copy? Copy, copy. These guys aren't keeping their fish. Look, they're putting them back. Yeah. Oh, right. Good. 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 Safino Pro. $110 I paid for it. For that one, I had two of them, but I lost one to a boat. It's cheap, does the job. Yeah, I used to have a kuma for years. And they're pretty good. I love a kuma. I need a on a real kuma. Rubber is very concentrated there on you. Rubber. He's on. Look, fish on. There you go. While the fishing is on, people catching fish around us. The other guys, they put a nice okay, snap on. Catching Good. fish after fishing, after fishing. Yeah, they're doing really well over there. I mean, how good is that where you can catch snapper straight off the beach? I didn't expect that it's good for snapper here. I would have thought kawaii kingfish, but usually you don't catch snapper that much here. 
Well, it must be the time of the year, I think. Yeah, not, not during summer, you don't really know. So we wanted to catch kingfish with a hand line, and for that we needed a live bait. Yeah, boy. Here it comes. Oh, well, Look, it in there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, it's a nice live bait. It's a nice little oh, Check it out as a live bait. It's a good size live bait, that one. That's a, that's a big ass live bait. Nice live bait, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh. He's going to be our lucky guy. Hawaii translates to fast in the water. These are like bullets, aren't they? Well, that's definitely a good name for them. Yeah. Put them on the old hook and throw it out. We'll put it over here, I think, out of the way of these guys. This hook in the back. He's a feisty guy. Probably in too far, but I'm too excited. All right, let's go. Don't put her out. We also used a balloon to keep the life bait up in the top of the water column. <laughs> Big wave coming in. Oh. Go. Here he goes. Go, go, go. Have that wave. Right, here he goes, hopefully. So the setup is pretty easy. Hand line, a hook at the end with some mono line. I think Michael used a pretty heavy mono line, 200 pound or so as a leader. Life bait hook and a balloon on top of the trace. Think for Sean. I'll get a bit of line and then we'll just stick it under the rock here. And the rock, rock will uh, get a big King for Sean there. Uh, rock should hold it, I hope. He's not too close, but. Here we go. It's for you, Mark. Get a king, you can bring it in. <laughs> oh, I can bring it. I'll put it on the. I haven't caught two fish in a row in a year. <laughs> <laughs> But we had a bit of a challenge with our first live bait, getting all tangled up on the rocks. Fish was getting a little too weak, battling it out against the crashing waves that were pushing balloon constantly back to shore. What, what do you reckon, Asian? What happened to the live bait? I think he's not there. <laughs> it's an escape. Escape? Oh. No, he's still there. Yeah. Oh, it got stuck yeah. under the rocks with the line. It's stuck? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna put it out here. Not, he's not swimming very well to, uh, for some reason. Very dead. I have to get another one. For some reason the car wire isn't very lively. It's a, it's a kingfish because they've got no teeth. They, they do stuff like that, like sandpaper. Yeah. It but see the teeth? No teeth. Yeah, it's no, just like just, sandpaper. Just for grabbing and holding yeah. onto a bait and then go. Oh! <laughs> I'll go to that point, please. Go to that, hold that. Yeah. Check that out. Oh, yeah. It's a big Motu Kahawai. Yes, yeah. So I'll put them on the line, eh? I won't go so far in the back this time. I was really bleeding out, look, a little bit. It lost a little bit of colour. Slimy as. I'm just going to try and go a bit, not so thick in the skin this time. Hook facing backwards, see? Go out. Go to the same place. They're out of the water, they don't swim that strong anymore. Eh? Into the same place. Yeah. He's going out now. The waves are washing him back, it's quite a few waves coming in there. Angle now, look. Okay. 
It's going on. There you go. I'll give you that, eh? Okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to put another bait on here. Are you in charge of that now? I'm going to put another bait on. Okay. The moon is dragging the power right back to shore, unfortunately. Not so sure how we can get him out there. This time I walked it out uh, with the hand line, making sure the line does not get stuck on any rocks around there. And the car wire really wanted to swim towards the raging river mouth and I had to make sure it could get there without getting washed back to shore by the relentless waves. Now once it reached the strong current from the river mouth, it gained enough power to swim out as far as the hand line could reach. Here it comes. Look at that. Oh, 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 another one. Another donkey. Another Motu big fat kahawai. Another <laughs> hops. Another weird curve hops. Here we go, Lai. Three curves. So. Is it a five barrel? I think it's a five or, yeah, here we are. Motu kahawai. Awesome. Check that out. Does it get any better than that? Yeah. Third. Third. A uh, big car away today. You're really onto it today. Well, all on the same bait. Just a bit on the same bait, yeah. <laughs> all right, Mike uh, is going to demonstrate uh, how he eats the car away heart. We got the beating heart here. You reckon you're going to eat that? Yeah. That's a true hunter. <laughs> <laughs> oh yummy, how yummy is that? Uh, I forget if it was smite, I'll eat it. <laughs> Fry it up and up raw. <laughs> so yeah. it wasn't wasn't quite as good as you thought? Um no it was exactly how I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wanna grab my coffee quickly. You know the line? While I went back for my coffee and to shoot some more drone footage, Haitian uh, was so far trying her luck casting micro jig. And she was then tasked to watch the hand line as it was only tied to a loose rock at this moment. So as I continued to capture the moment with my drone, I noticed that the balloon was suddenly in a different location and it was moving fast. And then it disappeared altogether. I called out to Mike and Haitian and they frantically sprang into action. How's it going? Nice! Pull it in! Yeah! Pull it in! Is there a fish on there? Yeah? Is there something on there? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, might not be. But the balloon is small now, why? It's, it's gone. Yeah, why? Something took it. Really? Yeah. But Shit! I don't think you've got it on there. I know! <laughs> it's not so good. Something had to go with it. I think so. Because it's moved. Yeah, and it had me chicken like that yeah. on it. So nothing oh. <laughs> Yeah. I think the but bait's gone too. I know. It might have been a shark. Yeah. If the bait's gone then. No fish on there is there. Hmm? Is there any fish on there? No. Oh, no. I don't I don't have any weight on it. Oh yeah. It must have been a shark took it. Might have been a shark, a um, kingfish, might have had a go at it. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Alright. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Alright, you got kingfish. Go, okay, bring it in. Yep, you got it. Go. Okay. Yeah. Bring it in. Nice. Doing a hand, are you alright? Yeah. You got it? Nice. That's a nice kingy. Bring her in. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at that, Haitian! Look! Woohoo! Look at that! <laughs> nice! Yo, man. Whoa. That's a Motu Kingfish. Here we go. Yeah. Felt like there's nothing on there. This is how yeah. it happens with a hand line. Yeah. It feels so, so easy to bring it in. Hey, she brought that in in about, what, two minutes? 
But that's so big. They came in about two minutes. It's what? so easy, isn't it? With a rod, we'll take you an hour, you probably lose it. With a hand line, bang, and it comes. Jesus. Because I thought it was mine, I had the drone. <laughs> oh, you go. She said, she said, oh, what's going on? There's nothing on there. Can you feel the bait on there? No, I can't feel anything. Next Polo minute. Was gone. I yeah. was wondering about the pollo. For a moment, I thought the kingfish got away, but Haitian pulled it in like a pro almost getting pulled over herself at one point. Fortunately, Mike was there to give her a hand. Haitian landed a massive 20 kg kingfish right at the river mouth. We were over the moon with the big smiles, taking photos and shooting video to document this incredible feat. It was the biggest kingfish Haitian had ever caught and certainly the first ever the on a hand line. today. Oh. Wow. Well, Mike is the true pro of this area. So glad that we met up with him here. Look at those nice catches. It was so exciting. I wouldn't mind pulling it in myself, but I've done a, I've already pulled some big kingfish in. So it's good for you to pull it in. Yeah. Fish of a lifetime. People have people have boats and they can't catch kingfish that big on their boat. <laughs> Look, I've got a, a hand line worth about ten dollars for the hand line. Ten dollars catches a fish like that. Hey. <laughs> Who needs a boat to catch kingfish? He's a hand line. Yeah. With enough fish to feed an army, we made our way back to the car. Though lugging that big fish uphill was no joke, guys. So here's the famous Weber. Famous rubber. Mark is gonna eat fish eyes. <laughs> fish eyes. <laughs> you too. <laughs> no, Mark. You too. You eat the fish eyes. Right. <laughs> Back at the campsite, we feasted on smoked kingfish, and man, was it delicious! Mike is truly an expert smoking up fish on his charcoal Weber. It doesn't get any better than this. We even had to use a hacksaw to cut the massive fish in half to fit into the smoker. Now, I was a bit nervous at this stage because I was about to sample Mike's speci speciality, smoked fish eye, and it couldn't get any bigger than that. This eye was a meal on its own, really. Why does Haitian always have to catch the biggest fish? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big eyeball. Look, they're still bloody here. Oh, yeah. Be all right, though. It's cooked. Maybe a bit longer, but no, it'd be right. It's cooked. Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 there's blood here and there still, yeah? No, you're it's wrong. just pushy into the mouth. There's nothing wrong with it. It's hot. Looks pretty raw to me. No, it's not but raw. This too? You eat this too? Uh, it's my be That's all right. He just didn't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty raw to me, guys. Uh, that, one, pretty... two, three, go! What is that? <laughs> That's a, a big bony eye. He's a pupil, we could chew on that. <laughs> Gosh, man. Look at that. Mouse for? Like the beacon heart. Is that kind of a bit? Not the pupil, no? You just chew it here till it's. Well done, Mike. He it's ate actually, it. It's actually not too bad. Really? Mm -hmm. It's pretty it's cool. sweet. Well done. <laughs> Tastes very sweet. Mmm. Your first eyeball. Chew it till it's in the. Well, it tastes actually quite good. 
I think really? it tastes good, the eyeball. I think it was a little bit raw for my taste. It could have been a little bit less bloody. True. Really sweet. Fishy or not fishy? And juicy, like a lot of juice, yeah, of juice, lot of juice in there. Mm. Awesome, Mark. I think it's good. I passed the eyeball test. You passed the eyeball test. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Eyeball <laughs> test Thank is much. done. Eyeball test. Very well done. Yeah, yeah, next. Yeah, yeah, uh, we have only one. What is it? Mark, what are you so doing, Mark? Just getting some more. Look. What are you doing, Mark? Oh, look at that. Holy cow. Look at that. Put, that in, put that in Haitian's mouth. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm all right. Just a little bit bloody, man. Right. That's a bit annoying. That's oh, right. Close your eyes. I think that's brain. Could be brain, <gasps> yeah. Looks like brain. Brain. Look at the rubber. Should we eat that? Rubber? Try? It's beets. I like brains. I don't like oh. that. It's <laughs> raw. <laughs> oh, yeah, she goes. Rubber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's well, wrong? what's wrong? It's... What's wrong? Oh, what did I just eat? Rubber doesn't want to eat it, and I ate it. Hopefully, hopefully the fish don't I think don't he passed. Have... He passed the test. <laughs> Robert didn't pass the test, Robert. Robert no. passed the test. What an unforgettable experience. Who would have thought handline fishing could lend us such an epic catch? It just goes to show that sometimes the most unexpected fishing adventures turn out to be the most thrilling and rewarding ones. Michael, thanks so much for taking us out to, to the Mighty Motu today. The Mighty Motu. So, the Mighty Motu. You're that welcome. Was, that, was, that was awesome. That was an awesome, awesome day. It was, was so I? good. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. There what was a, fun a really day. life. So, oh. so much fun. That was, what? What do you want to say? You want <laughs> was to say something too? Lifetime experience for me. Hope everyone enjoyed this episode as Thank much you. as we did uh, making guys. that and meeting you. Check out uh, Mike's channel, Thank Lekka Digital Mike. Media, Hi. of course. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. But to thank you in, in Maori. I don't, don't remember it. No. <laughs> I forgot. Kingfish? <laughs> Haku. Haku. <laughs> All right, tight lines, folks. And if you want to see how we landed a big kingfish in the Tauranga Harbor on Dead Bait, then you got to check out this video up here.